Fuck my life. <sighs> it's too hot for this shit. Really and truly. Like, what the fuck? I look busted, man. Busted. And my forehead looks five miles long. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Bloody, bloody hell. What is life? What is life? Someone help me, please, because I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue. Can't even get the composition right. What is life? <laughs> Help. I ain't even filled up my tank, bloody hell. I organised today. What's up, Yummy Yam fam? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing all okay. Hope you're having a good week. You're probably all sweating your balls out at work. I was meant to have, um, a week's annual leave, but a week's turned into four because I'm needed. Yay! <laughs> if you're new here, my name's Hayley. Don't mind me, just the way I spoke. You can su subscribe if you want to. Have we got a treat for you today? Have we got a bloody treat for you today, cocker? Sunday roast. Roast chicken. Yorkshire puds, mashed potatoes. The finest, freshest frozen vegetables. Uh, stuffing and uh, roasters as well. I did cook this yesterday and I was going to film yesterday but I was absolutely effing knackered. I still feel knackered now. So this has been warmed up. I've put the, the Yorkshire puddings and the roasters under the grill because you, you can't really do that in the microwave can you? And yeah, that's my dinner to put it eye. Now, I'll try, I like my gravy thick, and it's the first time I've done it in this gravy boat, and for some reason, oh, it's gone thicker now. See, I was stirring it for ages, and it, it just wore going thick, and I don't know why. It has gone a little bit thicker, but... It's how it melted the granules, and I don't know why. I could do it in a regular, um, what do you call it usually? It melts it fine, because it's ceramic. Would that make a difference? Comment down below, let me know. I don't know what's happened that happened to that. It tastes all grainy. Who uses a gravy bowl by the way? <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on with the gravy. Still gonna be easy. Yes, I did that, yes. No one else is using it but me. Shall we have a bite? Yes, we shall. We shall have a bite. Mmm. Shut up, you. I'm not having none. It's mine. Bit of stuffing. Oh, if, you, if you want some timestamps, they'll be in the description below. If you just want to fast forward straight to my experience, you don't like all the chip chat. Go chicken. Wow. No. no. I don't know. Mm. 
It's mine. You call bait or somebody dinner, can you? Even when it's left over, you call bait, see? I don't know what's happened to me gravy though, really, I don't, I don't get it, it's like, it's, it's fucking me my head, like what has happened to that gravy, it's like, gritty in my mouth, it shouldn't have done that, it was boiling, did I boil the kettle right now, I'm sure I boiled it, right I boiled it and then walked off and I got distracted and I was doing things, so it might have cooled down, that's why I, all melted. A roaster. Mm. I really love sprouts, but it has sprouts season, so I can have sprouts. I mean, I've got the frozen ones, but I don't think that'll be the same. I don't know. And these mashed potatoes are dead nice. Loads of butter and milk. Mm. Chicken was from Tesco, I'll boil in the bag. I think it had butter and herbs on it. It's really nice when you cook the chicken in um, them bags though. Meat's all moist. It's had quite as moist as yesterday though because you know I cooked it yesterday it's nice though it's grim I'm absolutely knackered I am right like, it was like putting up a video because I was working all last week like six days out of the seven and we had a day off I just spent it doing nothing all day just knackered You need a lot of energy where I work, or the industry that I work in, because I work it um, at an extra care facility, which we have a company called Housing Twenty One. They are a really good company. It's hard work though. I've been doing. I've been working in the care industry for like five years. I've worked in quite a few places, I've worked in some questionable places. I have story times on that actually. But Housing 21 is the best company I've worked for. For training, wages, work environment. Just the whole system and the way they work, it's, it's really good. Yorkie pod. Who pulls the gravy in the inside the Yorkie pods? <clears throat> Pardon me. Go okay, red my face is. It's really hot outside. It's um Tuesday afternoon. About two PM. I couldn't film a video any earlier because not like you care anyway. <laughs> Cause I, I was waiting in all day for parcels. You know when you first cook your Yorkshire puddings and then you make extra dinners, so you've got a spare. And the Yorkshire puddings go soft. Pop them back under the grill and they're crispy again. They're nice. Mm -hmm. So good, man. Okay, no, I was going to say I haven't had nothing to eat all day, but I have. I had two pieces of toast with butter and sliced banana on top. No.
I was binge watching a YouTuber on um, YouTube this morning while I was waiting for my parcels. Right. Her videos keep coming up as recommended to me, so I'm like, alright, then I'll watch that. And every time it keeps popping up, I'm like, oh my god, and then I'll watch another one, another one. I think I've watched all the videos within the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Sag Sagittarius Shorty, her name is. I like her, she's really entertaining. She will be everyone's cup of tea, but I like her. I swear I've been working that much. I've got stubs where my feet used to be. Do you like the colour combo? Dark pink, salmon pink and lemon. Can you tell I'm just dossing it on on my own and no one's going to see me? Why am I doing a video? I'm putting it on the internet. For everyone to see. <laughs> Anyone in the Wolverhampton, Warsaw, Willanore, Bilston areas, take note. I think it was last Saturday that we had those thunderstorms, worry. And It could have been Elon Musk satellites, right? Right, let's just put that out there, that it could have been that. Okay? But just before the um, the proper storm started to roll in and it, um, all the thundering and lightning, I think it, there was a bit of thundering. And I was sat in, in here, in my swivel chair. The boyfriend got up out of the sofa, off the sofa, to go to Lula. I can't, I can't talk, guys. Mercury retrograde. What are you going to do? He got up off the sofa to go to the toilet. And as he walked by, my eye line, because um, the window's right by the sofa, I looked out the window and I saw this light orb. And it looked just like, you know, when you're looking at the stars at night. Little lights. It looked like that, but it wasn't like white. It was yellow. And it was moving across the sky. Because I've got the window frame cuts in the middle of the window and I could see the orb moving across the frame in the middle so I knew it was moving. I got up, I was staring at it and I said to the boyfriend, come and look at this, he says, what, what are you looking at? And he, he, he came and had a look. He came and had a look. He says, um, oh, that's a drone, that is, that's a drone. Drone. Light orb. How does an orb look like a fucking drone? I even googled the picture to him. I was like, how does that look like a freaking drone? Like, no, no, not at all. <laughs> and I seen it moving across the sky, and then all the thunder and the lightning started happening. And I love thunder and lightning, I do. I'm like, yes. But he sat down. Back down on the sofa, and I was like leaning over him, looking at the out the window. At this thing that was moving across the sky. And another one flew down right by my window, and it looked like it had a an, it was the the light like that, and it looked like it had an aura all around it, and it flew right close to the window. I was like, "Come, come, look at the look at the window, look at that, can you see that?" And he went to go and get up, and look out the window. And he says that he couldn't see anything. Hey, like, am I going crazy? Am I losing my shit? Do I need to book a doctor's appointment? Do I? I, I said that you didn't say that, it was right by the window. It's like now I see. It's a it's um it's a drone. It's a drone, what you're on about, it's a drone. It's like a fucking drone. An orb of light. 
And the other one was still moving in the sky. So I've run upstairs to go and get a better look in the spare room. Look out the window, gone. So I'm, I'm racing to the front bedroom. I stopped there for a bit thinking it's going to over the, our roof, over our house. Nothing. It just disappeared. So, anyone in the War of Hampton, Willinor, Warsaw, Bilston, I was playing in the West Midlands. Did you see any um, orb lights in the sky with, when it was thundering and lightning last Saturday? Because I saw those houses. I eat on um, Musk satellites, like orbs of light. But would you be able to see him in the daytime like that? I don't know. And there, afterwards, I seen on Facebook, I, d I don't know what the, where the location was, but I seen on Facebook this woman during the thunderstorm, she was um, filming. There we go, job right. She was filming out of the window, the thunderstorms and that, and there was a massive dome. It was like a, a reddish tint dome over the horizon. I think at the end of the video, there was a little light orb that flew out of it. It was exactly the same on the arsing. The fuck was it? I mean, it, it could have been a, a little bit of debris, and I mean that debris was shiny, and uh, the sun reflected off it and made it look like an orb, and could have been. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Someone writes in the comments, you're just cry cry. <laughs> so. So those of you who didn't watch my last video, I did a story on how to astral project and my actual projection experience. If you watch it, I'll link it below. Oh, well, put it in the comments. But that experience actually lasted, I mean, happened a couple of years ago. I think it was back in 2017. We had another experience a couple of weeks ago because, well, it was about a month ago now. When I was off with the isolation, I was starting to get, get back into my meditation. And every time I get back into my meditation, it doesn't take long, I start popping out my freaking body. And whatnot. A weird experience or experiences will start happening to me. Um so I'd been meditating in there. The boyfriend was downstairs, so I was upstairs trying to get to sleep. I remember thinking I was super tired. I wonder how that's a contributing factor, man. Because every time anything like that has happened to me, I've been over tired. You know, when you get over tired, super tired, like I don't know. It's weird, are you? But I'd woken up. I'd woken up in sleep paralysis and opened my astral eyes. What? Wanna be out? What? We're all trying to get me dinner. What's the matter, my bitsy? Yeah. Yeah, I've been very well. Is that a urine infection? I've had to change all his diet and whatnot. You've been on antibiotics and everything, are you? I'm feeding them raw now. Grain free and raw. You can't. No, it's mine. You've had your food. Uh, dip, 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 dip. 
putting me to shame. You have to look another feed, yeah? Anyway. I'd woken up in the sleep paralysis stage. I opened my eyes and I'm seeing. I looked at my window and I seen the silhouette of a shadow man. And it, it was he kept peeping round the window and going like that. And then like hiding from me. And he did that about three times, he kept going like that. And hired him. And I looked at it and I was like, nah, I can't be asked with this at the minute. I want to go to sleep, I'm tired. I can't be asked with this shit and close my eyes. I then got pulled out of my body. By what? I do not know. Male, do not know whether it's a female, do not know whether it's a freaking alien, I do not know, a freaking demon, I do not know, if you believe in that. But I got pulled out of my body and it felt like I got pulled out of my body by several different people. People. And I got pulled out of my body. All of the time my eyes were closed at this stage. Pulled out my body and I got lifted through the roof and up and up and up and up and into space. Now, before I go any further, like, this felt different to my, my, my first actual projection spirits that I have, that I ever had. It felt different because it felt like I wasn't fully aware, I wasn't fully awake. I didn't have full vision. It, it was like I was experiencing it through my mind's eye, not through my astral eyes. It was weird. And then I come to thinking, is it a lucid dream? But lucid dream is when you wake up in your dream and you realise you are dreaming and you know you are dreaming and you can control the dream. I wasn't controlling this experience. It just freaking happened. It's weird. Wrinkling about it now is weird. Like, I don't know what it was because I, I know it was lucid dreaming because of that. But it was an astral projection either. Or maybe you can have like an astral projection and not be fully awake or fully conscious or fully aware. Because some people say in the dream state that's just another form of astral projection. You're just not fully aware. So yeah, it's weird. But I got the sense that they, were, they wanted to show me an experience. But not fully aware so I wasn't scared. Because I was a bit scared when I seen that shadow thing waving at me like that. I couldn't see none, none of his features or anything. He was just a shadow being. I thought, oh, yeah, I had him with his shit on I closed my eyes again, but I don't know. Maybe they wanted to show me. Because I've always said that I wanted to go into space. Maybe they showed me a little bit of that. Not fully aware, so they didn't scare me. So the next time I wake up in sleep paralysis, maybe I'll go there by myself. I don't know. But I couldn't see these people. I could just feel them. And they propelled me forward in the darkness of space really fast. Speed of lightning. Speed of light. What do you want to call it? And this is where um, a little bit of um, visual awareness, because when when I was pulled out of my body and taken up to space, I, I didn't have no vision. I just felt I felt that I was being pulled up, and I felt that I was in the open air, and I felt like I was going through space. And then when they started to propel me forward. I had a little bit of vision and I could see stars flicking by really, really fast. And I had a little little bit of a appreh apprehension and they stopped. 
we just stood there or flouted there or whatever you want to call it You can see me now. I wrote down a few pointers. Keep my video organised so I won't forget. Because I'll start rambling on about shit. Um, yeah, they stopped. And for some reason I made the decision to not rely on them to propel me forward I will myself to propel myself forward I wanted to go forward so I did and I, I went forward really really fast and then we stopped when we reached this planet I can't remember what it looked like ready a ready tint And then, a little cartoon side profile of a face come into my vision on the left and it was laughing. And then it says, you've impressed us. And I was like, all right. And then it wanted me to go down to the planet and get something, but I can't remember what that was. So I went down to the planet to get something. I can't remember what was down there, was the water, was, I can't remember any of that. I just know that I was meant to go down to the planet to get something. And um, come back and he said that I failed. So... It's all well and good, are you? <laughs> what I found, I don't know. I remember some other chatter in the background, like this woman's voice over it, this man's voice over it, but it's really weird because in the moment, in the experience that you're having, you can hear them and understand them, crystal clear, blah, blah, blah. You come back to this realm, a little time goes by and you can't remember it. Details like failure, it's weird. A little bit of chicken. Right. Super weird. I don't remember anything after that. I remember waking up though. Oh, Sorry. Right. Talking with me gob open. Man. Tired. Some dude in the comments asked why I had 666 on my wrist. <laughs> Mate, it's three Bs. It's upside down. It's it's lit it's three Bs. And my sister's name. I had it done when I was 19. She's got exactly the same tattoo. It was her idea.
Sarah will be eating dinner. So yeah, that was my experience. And ever since I had that experience, I have been really meditating. What? Well, stop lying now. You haven't meditated at all. <clears throat> I'm going to start doing it again now though. See what other experiences I can have. The weird and wonderful world we live in. Them light, that light on that thunderstorm was freaky though. And then another one coming down by my window, right close to my window. My boyfriend, I see you. There's probably a plausible explanation. Makes you think though, Louis. I should be a competitive eater. Even though this dinner wasn't that big. I feel like I need to meditate for 3,000 years. Hmm. Someone's been stealing all my energy and the eye funny. <clears throat> I don't know what video to do next because I've got a skin weight this week, so I won't be able to afford to buy anything because bills come first, aren't they? <laughs> I wonder what I can do homemade. Beans on toast. <laughs> Who wants a beans on toast mukbang? <laughs> Or pot noodle sandwich. <laughs> I was going to do um, a series on, on this channel before. The Doll Diaries. Because <laughs> I, I was on the doll for a number of years. For quite a long time. So I feel like I'm allowed to do this series. Because <laughs> I've lived through it. I have experience. I was just going to take the piss with it. And do beans on toast and a pot noodle sandwich. <laughs> 20p um 20p noodles and beans <laughs> i used to live on that in the early 20s pot noodle sandwiches cool blimey <laughs> i've moved on in the world my boyfriend always used to say if I ever go on um, come dine with me, I'll take the piss and do beans on toast. <laughs> That's something we'd do, just for the crack. Tin of rice pudding for dessert. Semolina. <laughs> I 
Hey, I finished my American series. Because, you know, if you call tell, I'm from the UK. <laughs> I really want to go to America and try all the nice food because they've got such lo loads of nice food and the UK's did shit. Yeah, I have finished that series. I did, um, I took all the, like, some of the American takeout and I, I did it at all. Cool. I seen that, um, Taco Bell and Olive Garden was popping at the time, so I thought, oh, I'm going to do that at home then. I really enjoyed that series, actually. I might do some more. American. I did in and out Ta Taco Bell. And, um, Olive Garden. I wonder if I can do, like, Wendy's. Or... What's the other American takeaways? Panda Express. <laughs> Lovely. No. What other series have I got? Or I could do Black Country Cuisine. The Doll Diaries or Black Country Cuisine. Grey Pays and Bacon. <laughs> that is the dish of the Black Country. Grey Pays and Bacon. <laughs> I could do that. I could do like traditional West Midlands cuisines or Black Country cuisines, couldn't I? I've already done orange chips. I'll keep it full for two minutes. That filled and all. Well, I'm going to go because now rest for the wicked, I've got to clean my house. See you in my next one. Look at all the wormios wanting to lick my place. I call them wormio wormios, worms, because the, they just eat everything. Look at him. All sharking round me, all three, yeah, ganging up on me, putting me to shame. <laughs> I love you too. My life.